East Greenwich police are mourning the loss of one of their own tonight, killed in a skydiving accident over the weekend. Sergeant Chris Kalin was a 15 year veteran of the department. He was also a member of the Rhode Island National Guard. My witness news reporter Anita Buffoni spoke with a close colleague of Kalin's. She joins us now in how he's being remembered tonight. Anita. His colleagues are describing this as a tragedy in the airborne community because they say Sergeant Chris Callen was an expert in military parachuting and known internationally for his skydiving skills. Connecticut State Police say they responded to Danielson Airport Saturday morning for a skydiver who was injured after a rough landing on the airfield. That skydiver was 49-year-old Sergeant Chris Callen. He died of his injuries. Pictured next to Callen here is Gloria Berlanga, a close colleague of his. She describes him as a loving family man and the heart and soul of the National Guard's 56th Troop Command. The soldiers with whom he served, he, he would give time and, and energy to whatever his soldiers needed support with. Sergeant Callen, a father of three, served multiple tours overseas as a member of the U.S. Army Special Forces. He was an experienced skydiver, serving as a jump master in parachute training events and competitions. He was also the second shift supervisor on the East Greenwich Police Department, the chief there calling him an exemplary officer. The Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association commenting on Callen's sudden death saying in part, Sergeant Callen bravely served his community and country in multiple capacities. He is a hero who will be missed, but his actions and memory will never be forgotten. You know, some people go through life and, and they have the expertise, the personality, and, and just the larger than life ability to impact people's lives wherever they go and whatever they do. And he was one of those people. Details of what happened during that skydiving accident that led to his death have not been released. Now, reactions to Sergeant Callen's death are pouring in from police departments across the state as law enforcement and military communities mourn the death of one of their own. In East Greenwich, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.